Hi, it's Jeffrey here in the Sophia Hills, um, Hollywood Hills, California, at the shop. And we have this remarkable uh, guitar by Gary Kramer and Leo Scala. It's 36 frets long in scale. Um, it's called the Turbulence. Uh, as far as we can tell, it was made in the around 2008-2009 era. It's a maple neck and it has regular size frets all the way up through two octaves and then the remaining octave has thinner frets. Today you can see with a Floyd Rose style tremolo on here, uh, we're going to take this off. We offer a titanium size um, OFR size block and this can have our stop block or the UNO in it and in this case we're going to put a titanium block with a UNO in this pocket because it fits and then we also found out that this ledge is a little funny compared to where the you know is or put a little reinforcement in it'll probably worked either way but we had to have a couple minutes to rebuild the floyd putting the um titanium block on so we decided to do that we'll be back in a few minutes with the stop install so um what we ended up doing is taking this licensed tremolo and we added a uh, slightly longer titanium block to it uh, we could have used the 34, we just didn't have it in stock. And I added an Uno. And when you drop it in, you can see that it fits perfectly. And the Uno is tapping into place at the initial position. So we know everything's really good. In order to achieve that, we did take a little bit of material. In this case, we got it from a guitar pick and super glued in there because this had a little bit of a ledge here. This means the Uno will hit it nice and firm. You could use wood, but we we're just trying to do it on the fly a couple days before Christmas. And uh, people have been using guitar picks there forever. So why not? We'll be back in a second putting the strings on. I got the first thing I'm going to do is put it into position. Uh, it tends to stay exactly where I want because of Uno. I'll flip it and put one spring in to hold it in position while we start putting the strings in. Here you can see how it fits. And it's at the zero point or the initial position we want to set up. Okay, so. This is the seventh string. These are the Aurora strings. Standard procedure, cut the ball end off. So I put a block here so that it's up and you can access everything. Um, here we're gonna take this, put it through, open this up. It's just a standard Floyd install, opening up the lock, the clamp. So we're in the final stages here and uh, we have this saw set up. The UNO is in the titanium plate. We're using two Sophia springs and a classic V setup as a nice life touch for a seven string. And being as it is, the claw position relative to establishing this touching but not touching type of thing. Um, <clears throat> well, the guitar is intonated in a pitch. Once that's achieved, the pulls are balanced now. Coming back from dive, coming back from the pulls, exactly the same. So it's coming back and the pins are enforcing that position. Really nice guitar. Um, it was a lot of fun working on it. 
and uh, I can't imagine how much fun it would be just to play for a while. Thanks for tuning in. It's a pretty cool guitar, and um, it's another uh, example of how we can adapt our technology to uh, work with a lot of different instruments. This is a 36 fret guitar again. Uh, these are with the Aurora strings. We used a set of sixes, 9 through 42, and added a seventh string. I think it's a 50 or 52, and it's set up beautifully. These are in red colors. They have other colors, blue and gold, probably natural color as well. And they have a coat on them, and it lasts, makes them last a long time. We have players here who have been using other brands that have been around for a long time, and we gave a, a good uh, workout today, and three of us who listen to them really think they sound quite good, honestly. Thanks again for tuning in. Sophia Hills in Hollywood, California.